just in case you thought I forgot. What is happening, my Damien? What is up? What is happening, good people? It's your favorite chubby here, and I am starting it off with a home workout. This day was actually October 1st, so I had to start the month off with a home workout. Look at her go. Yes, I had to pass the word in there because not everybody wants to see a whole 15 minutes, and I did 30. So I kind of saved y'all the gist of it. Got me on chipmunk mode. So we're going to move on to the next thing in about a little bit, so watch your girl go. what is up i am leaving the gym and i actually went to the gym that i said i wasn't going to go to unless it was the last resort the one that smelled like moving box sweat ball sweat and you know what they did a whole 360 chair because it did not smell like moving ball sweat it smelled pleasant it didn't have a smell a boom and ball sweat so and now um, the locker room were clean like it was really clean and like yeah y'all get a plus from me so i shall be returning instead of going all to timbuktu to go to the gym so that was a, a pleasant surprise that they because i was dreading going up in that bitch i ain't gonna even lie about it i'm just like but i need my steam rope but i went and I was surprised. It was all clean. Everything was cool. And yeah, I will return. Okay. And now, if they go back to ground zero again, then um, I might really have to write a review. Because before I had went there, um, the first time, I did look at the reviews. And basically, the majority of the reviews is it stinks. It stinks in there. So, I was just like, it cannot be that bad. Oh, honey, it was that bad. It, it was so bad. But, um... They did a whole 360, change it around, probably change some employees, got some more employees to keep it all clean and handled and everything else. So I'll be returning back there. So it, it's cool. So I just wanted to record a little bit in the car. Um, I worked out at home and that was the first video. Well, not the first thing you've seen, but you've seen me working, at, working out at home. That was um, Monday. And uh, no, it wasn't Monday. It was Tuesday, and um, today is Thursday. So now I'm at. I went to the gym today, and I sat in the steam room because I get to clear out all these toxins, and they also good for my dreads. And my dreads feel, you know, expand and get the air. And then sometimes it does help with my itching of my dreads because my scalp because because uh, my hair wasn't dirty, but because I just not too long ago got it done. I had went out with I had went out Saturday, so I had got my um, hair done at my locti with my loctician doing my hair. I didn't feel like doing my damn hair. So, but the air, but that steam room hit them hit my scalp after because it itches sometimes. Anybody with dreads will know with locks will know that that itching is terrible. So when I but I, with that steam room hitting my scalp, uh, yeah, that itching is gone. Okay, 
So I just want to record it and make sure everybody having a good week. And if you are part of this journey of the weight lost, keep going, doing what you do, boo. And then I am going to be talking about some situations and once the end of the week hits and everything else. So not about me, but just some shit that I saw popping up. Just I just wanted to bring on to get my little tidbits about it. So I will holler at y'all in the next little talk. And here we go. Happy Monday, people. It is the 7th of October. And I thought I'd just give you a quick rundown of my week. I did include a few videos in between the week and everything. But um, yesterday I went to a baby shower. I'm not going to put that in there because I don't have permission. But it's been a struggle bus this week like I worked out and I went back in my three days and worked out and I feel great I feel so much better because my doctor um, told me to take magnesium so I'm taking magnesium 25 milligrams and within I say three four days I have not had a single cramp now I purposely got off for two days and when I was off the two days, as soon as I had stretched, I was off the day before. As soon as I stretched, pain city. Like, I almost pulled one. So, I was like, okay, maybe benefit, okay. And then, um, also, I'm also taking um, black seed oil, organic black seed oil, cold press. I know there are pills and, um... People tell you it tastes like kerosene. I don't know what kerosene tastes like. It just t it tastes like oil. It tastes like uh, it just tastes like swallowing oil. But I I put a teaspoon into my tablespoon. Two, no, well, I think it's two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar because it's not like that tastes great anyway. So I just put to kill two birds with one stone. So I chuck that with my water and then I take the magnesium later on it like of course with food when I eat and um uh, even if I take a protein shake I take my pills with that struggle bus now I'm at a point of where I'm trying to figure out what I like and don't like to eat as in healthy eating so there are some things that I like, there are some things I really don't like. Like, there are days where I will eat totally healthy. Not saying that, you know, there are days I eat totally bad or anything like that. It's just, I have to pick and choose my healthy options because I get bored. And, like, meal prepping is not for me because I'm just, I don't know, a tad bit of a germaphobe and I'll be thinking, oh, day three, it's been sitting in the fridge, yuck, I don't want it. So, I'm trying to figure out if I should do a couple days in between like that or or should I just prepare the meal every you know day or whatever because you know I do cook and I do have leftovers but leftovers normally don't last no longer than a day maybe two but it, it doesn't last that long longer than two days and and I'm not going to fib I did have some homemade caramel cake at the baby shower which was delicious whoever made it but i had that and um all that stuff it's just i'm at a complex of what i should or what do i feel like i should eat because if i don't feel like eating or if, or if i don't have a taste for anything i will have a protein shake that i will and i'm also drink Broth. I drink a lot of beef and bone broth, beef and chicken bone broth, but I mix it with regular regular broth, and I have it in a cup, especially when I'm at work and I don't want to eat enough. I don't have time to eat half the time when I'm at work because the first three four hours I'm on the move until it's time for me to sit down and maybe maybe like two or one o'clock, and I am going back on my intermittent fasting, so. It, I eat my food before I leave the house because once I get to work, I'm not going to have time to eat. 
and, and if I have time to eat, it'd be a snack, and that'd be probably before 10, 10.30, because I'm trying to make make my fast start no later than 10.30 to 11 at night. And um, I have a little snack, so I just bought some apples that I'm going to chop up, and I do like peanut butter, so I got some natural peanut butter cups that I have my apples with and everything else, because I have taste for apples. It is apple season. So I am having that, and um, like I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue to work out. And I know I said I was gonna get on the scale this time. I'm a freak. I don't know if anybody have a natural fear of getting on the scale. I do. I don't see how people can do these situations where they want to weigh in every day, get on the scale every every damn day. I don't, don't that do something to your mental capability of dealing with weighing yourself every day? There are people that may not have to have that issue where it doesn't fuck with their mind of uh, weighing themselves every day. I don't know. But I'm going to try to put on my big girl panties and get on the damn scale next week and um, get my weigh in for the last couple weeks I was supposed to get. But, um, Leave in the comments some encouraging words and I will do the same. And um, like I said, it's all about positivity and my journey, my ups and downs and everything. So I am having a gray area moment. Let's just not call it that. We call it gray area. Okay, so I just want to chime in at the end of this video. And um, I'm just going to get through this week on a positive note. Last week was wasn't, wasn't bad, but it's going to be on a positive note as well. End it on a positive note. So, I'm going to end this video. And I hope everybody has a good week. It is the first official week of October. And yes, I have on a jacket now because it's cold. It was cold there. So, I don't have to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to put it at the bottom of the screen. And you know what I say. Stay true, stay you. And I holla back at you. Boom.